Hey guys, okay, a um, couple of similar questions on my Snapchat, on my live Q&A. So if you're not on my Snapchat, head over to there, uh, BrianK019, where I open up my Snapchat and do live Q&As. Um, but basically talking about spare tires and like the body fat that's like stuck here um, that people can't seem to get rid of. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips on what you can do to get rid of that. Um, firstly, you can't technically spot reduce body fat. So you can't say, or right, I wanted to go from here, here, and here. Um, your body will take it down in an overall reduction in body fat so this is why you get some people will like their legs will get leaner first or their arms will get leaner first or their back will get leaner and their body fat and their abs will be the last thing to come in for example i'm working with a client of mine um who is literally now coming in everywhere else in terms of he's, he's an online client of mine his chest his arms his shoulders his legs everything is lean and looks great but he's still got a little bit of body fat in his lower stomach um so basically what happens is to give you a bit of a background of what happens. You've got two types of fat in your body. You've got visceral fat and subcutaneous fat. Your, your visceral fat is your fat that's over your vital organs. Um, it's, the, it's the fat that's basically dangerous for fucking, you know, um, heart disease and things like that. And then you've got subcutaneous fat, which is the fat that you can pull at, which is the, 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 the bits that you can see and pull at. What happens when you reduce an overall reduction in body fat as it climbs down, your body has to take away that visceral fat that's over the organs before it takes that subcutaneous fat that's over, that's, that you can see. So that's why people get this spare tire here because this is where your build up your visceral fat is. So even though you're getting leaner everywhere else, you can't get rid of the spare tire because you've got layers of build up of visceral fat. The main things that visceral fat builds up on is people with shitty diets, um, processed foods, fast foods, hydrogenated oils, trans fats, these kind of foods is what normally gives that build up a break up, a build up of visceral fat underneath the, underneath the skin, um, underneath the subcutaneous fat that you can pull and see. Um, so what you got to do is remember if you've been eating shitty foods for three, four years and eating loads of processed foods. And even though you're getting leaner, you've got a build up of visceral fat there. So you need to actually tap into that before you can get rid of that spare tire. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. So if you're getting disheartened because you're getting lean everywhere else and that doesn't seem to be moving, remember your body is start, is chipping away. It's literally like etching away at a, um, you know, at a piece of stone. That's what it's doing. It's taking away, chopping that visceral fat. And once you tap into the subcutaneous fat then, it, this is why I say to everyone, it's really hard to get a flat stomach and hard to get a six pack. Well, it's not hard. It, it's simple. It's, it, 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 it's what you do. You eat less and you train more and eat well, but you know, it's, it's, it's not easy to do. Um, but it's really difficult to, it, it, it's harder to get there and get your flat tummy and get your six pack, but it's really easy to hold it because what happens is you don't rebuild up that visceral fat underneath. Um, so this is why I always say, my head trainer Paul is very similar now. I can use myself to your, your own best example is even if my body fat climbs, you know, a little bit higher, I can get rid of it like that in a week, 10 days because it's just subcutaneous fat. It's fat that my body can utilize as a fuel source because I don't have a buildup of visceral fat because I don't eat processed foods. I don't eat fast food. I don't eat trans fat or hydrogenated oils. Um, so my body never adds to that visceral fat. So I can literally drop it like that if I need to. And it's the same with any of my long-term clients because I cut these things from their diet. Again, I'm a balance on all aspects of life with alcohol, vices, you know, chocolate, whatever it is, things you enjoy, but I don't have time for the processed foods and, and, and fast food um, in the majority of people because it has no beneficial effect to the body and it's fucking shit for your health. Um, so just be aware that you've got to tap into that visceral fat before you get into the subcutaneous fat and start working and chipping away at it, you know. If you are reducing everywhere else and you're coming in at your arms, shoulders, um, boobs, chest, back, wherever it is, and you're getting leaner everywhere and you can't get rid of your spare tire, your body is going to eventually take that. And once you get there, it's very, very easy to hold it there. The easiest, best analogy I can give is it's like pushing a massive fucking tire up a hill. It's pretty hard to push it to a top of a hill, but once you get there, it's pretty easy to hold it. So once you get there and your body takes that visceral fat and takes the subcutaneous fat and you get your flat tummy or you get your six pack or you get whatever it is you're looking for, it's really easy to hold it there. That's why majority of my long-term clients and my transformation people have got their six pack or got their flat tummies and they've kept it you know because it's all about sustainability i don't i don't take any pride in getting somebody a six pack or flat tummy i'm like i want to fucking get you there and hold you there you know i want you to be able to sustain this long term with without me with my team without my team so that you can do it yourself forever that's that's always been my philosophy with it and and that's the way you should look at it that put in the work put in the grind Diet hard, take out the shit food, 
if you're eating processed food or fast food or Chinese or Indian or these foods that aren't supporting you and um, that are dipped in hydrogenated oils, you got to fucking cut them, you know, and just get yourself to where you want to be. And then it's really, really easy to hold yourself there. Um, so I hope that video helps. Remember, visceral fat, subcutaneous fat, keep chipping away at it. Um, and eventually you'll get there. And once you get there, get your flat stomach, get your six pack. It's really easy to hold it. So hope this video helps. Please like and share the page. I'll be replying on comments for the next 24 hours.